I'm sending greetings from Benin, West Africa, and I want to say thank you so very much for uh, your support to our ministry here. You know, uh, as a result of what you have helped us to do here, we were able to uh, uh, do some uh, response to uh, the uh, the COVID-19. A lot of activity actually took place here. We were able to help pastors. That is the, our pastor support program. We were able to, uh, to do three rounds of COVID uh, response. And, uh, you know, we went to village villages where we give uh, uh, trainings, sensitizations. We uh, help people make their own hand washing stations. We, we gave uh, soap to people and uh, we were able to seize the opportunity to, 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 to proclaim the gospel of Jesus to people as well. And I'm just going to share one story with you quickly. Uh, it's about uh, uh, a, a woman, uh, an, an older woman who actually became a Christian as a result of the pastor's support uh, during this COVID time. Uh, her name is uh, Princia Agonihue, and uh, you know, uh, her son became a Christian uh, some years ago, and she was not... Uh, happy she did not like the idea because they were originally muslims but his son decided to become a follower of jesus and she actually persecuted that man uh, and he was actually helped by the church and he grew up in his faith and he decided even to become a pastor and you know his uh, one of his uh, very first field it was uh, a church that we started as a result of a well that we uh, installed in a village called Alaji Para in Paraku area that is in the north of Benin and that gentleman became the pastor of that church and because he he's one of the pastors who partnered with us uh, when the COVID uh, time came and we were to support pastors he was one of them and uh, well uh, that day uh, we went to the north and uh, uh, all the pastors were gathered and he received uh, 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 bags of rice or, and uh, also uh, uh, oil, soap, he received uh, uh, beans and he carried all that back home. You know, uh, he, he said he arrived at home after 4 o'clock p.m. and at that time, uh, his family, that is his mother and his other sisters, they had nothing to eat. So they have not eaten up to four o'clock p.m. So he came home and surprisingly he had like a lot of food with him. And he said, you know, mom, this is for us. We were given this uh, because we're pastors. And uh, I brought this back home so that uh, we can feed ourselves. And her mother was just surprised. She could not understand. So the, the following morning, she went to wake up her son and told him, you know, uh, from today on, I'm going to worship your God. And you know, the following Sunday, she uh, took uh, the, uh, the, 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 her, her other children, two daughters, and uh, they went to church and she gave her life to Jesus and became a follower of Jesus. And you know, we have uh, so many of these kind of stories because uh, what you have allowed us to do has transformed the lives here. People are touched and people are impacted. Lives are being transformed here as a result of your ongoing partnership with us to, uh, demonst to demonstrate the love of God toward these people here, to uh, help them have hope in God. So thank you so very much. May God bless you richly.